Everybody, welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. Bob Lorenz and Frank Isola with you. As our Ryan Rucco said, a chaotic night at Barclays Center Friday where the Nets lost to the Raptors 123-117. Chaotic because at the last second before tip, we found out Kevin Durant was not going to be able to start in the health and safety protocols. Then he comes in in the first quarter and plays, and in the third quarter they tell him, you got to go back out because of health and safety yeah, protocols. very strange. It was almost as if Kevin Durant, okay, he can accept the fact that for the first time in his career he's going to have to come off the bench because of the health and safety protocol. Then in the third quarter, 9.06 to go, the Nets are up by one, and they pull him out of the game because of contact tracing. And now everyone on the court, and when you heard some of the Nets talk about it, you know, Joe Harris said something about it, James Harden. Hang on a second. Well, he was in contact with us. Why were we even playing the game to begin with? A lot of frustration, a lot of confusion tonight at Barkley Center. Yeah, when he did play, Durant scored eight points in a little over 19 minutes. James Harden double-doubled with 17 points and 12 assists. He was one of seven players to score double figures for the Nets, although Toronto's uh, Pascal Siakam led all scores with 33 points as part of a huge night across the board. To start his media session following the game, our Michael Grady asked Steve Nash for his understanding of Durant's situation, what it was, and the availability of KD going forward. I'll try to um, explain this from what I know. He's, uh, I don't believe he'll, he'll come to Philly, but I, I, I don't think that he necessarily, they've decided. It's a, you know, it's just a contract tracing procedure, and um, I think that we're, it's to be determined. Uh, how much time he'll have to miss, uh, but we're just gathering information still at this point. With the game itself, what was what was most disappointing in, in crunch time and those crucial minutes down the stretch? What was most disappointing uh, in, the, in the in the lack of execution that you saw? Yeah, you know, it was tough. They they did it. You know, Nick's a great coach and does a great job. Uh, you know, mixing up the game defensively, so we tried to keep it really simple. Um, we missed some open looks and Lowry made some big shots and we gave up offensive rebounds and turned the ball over and you add it all up and they found separation in the last couple minutes so uh, just pointing close to the game but we'll learn from it and uh, we'll get better by this. Well, Brooklyn will be right back in action Saturday night with a road game in Philadelphia. Coverage begins on yes at 730 with a pregame show presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. For Frank Isola, I'm Bob Lorenz. Thanks for watching Post Game Plus.